On our journey round the island of Bahol, we stopped briefly at a man-made forest. Tall mahogany trees shade both sides of the road for about two kilometres. Devoid of sunlight, a distinct drop in temperature will be noticed, even on the hottest day. In the middle of Pahol is the island's biggest tourist attraction, the Chocolate Hills. About four kilometres from the town of Carmen, a side road winds up to the Chocolate Hills complex, which has a car park, restaurants and souvenir shops. It is thought there are between 1,270 and 1,780 individual mounds scattered over an area of about 50 square kilometres or 20 square miles. These are not man-made structures but a natural phenomenon These grass-covered limestone mounds have a uniform dome-like shape and are mainly about 30 to 50 metres or 100 to 150 feet in height, with the tallest being 120 metres or 390 feet high. In the dry season the grass turns brown giving rise to the name Chocolate Hills during the wet season, of course, the hills are green, making the connection with the name a little more difficult to see. As can be seen, no trees or shrubs will grow on them. Two hundred and forty four almost vertical concrete steps that take you up to the viewing platform situated on top of one of the hills. There is a shrine alongside the steps. Our last stop of the day was at a memorial ground where five life sized bronze figures depict the Sanjugo of 1565, better known today as the Blood Compact Shrine. The Blood Compact is an ancient ritual in the Philippines intended to seal the friendship or treaty. This is said to have been the spot where the first treaty of friendship between the chieftain of Bohol Island and the Spanish explorers was made. You can imagine the tall, masted sailing ship at anchor in the harbour. 